Hey students, let's go over two five literal equations and formulas. So here's what we're gonna do, students. Here we have an equation where we have a 10x plus a 5y equals an 80. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna solve it for y. Okay, so here's how you solve an equation for y. We're gonna learn about a type of equation in the future where you want to have y all by itself. So let's just do that. Let's try to get y alone and all by itself. So the same thing applies as your two-step, three-step, your solving skills. You want to get y all by itself. So this five is connected by multiplication. It's not quite as powerful. Sorry, it is more powerful than this 10x. So how do you get rid of a 10x? Well, just like anything else, you just get rid of it. If it's positive, you subtract. So let's subtract 10x from both sides. And what do we have left? After we do that, you're gone. We basically move it over here. That's another way to think of it. We have a 5y equaling a negative 10x plus an 80. Okay, I always like to write the, if I move the variable over here, I always like to write it right next to the equal sign. You'll see why again in the future of why I'm doing that. Okay, next move. I need to divide by five. Now here's the tricky part, students. If I'm dividing the left by five, I also need to divide the right by five. Now, if I divide both these pieces by one big fraction bar, it is technically the same thing as just dividing each of them by five. So that's the best way to write it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel the five. I have a y equals negative 10 divided by five would be a negative two with an x. X kinda comes along for the ride. And then 80 divided by five would be a plus 16. Okay, so again, all I'm doing is I'm doing my order of operations, excuse me, not order of operations, my solving skills. I'm getting rid of the weakest connection first, this positive 10x, subtracting 10x. Then I'm getting rid of this five by dividing by five. Now, if I divide the left by five, I gotta divide the right by five. Some of you are like, well, you did it twice over here. Yeah, I'm dividing each of them by five. So I kind of skipped a step. I skipped this part. Technically, I should have wrote it like this, okay? But when you divide a group by five, it's the same thing as dividing them individually by five. So, when you're solving for y, get rid of the x, divide everything by the number connected to y, boom, y is all by itself, and then we're good to go.